Chelsea won, Spurs nil. What else do you want? What else do you want? Welcome to the Guff Guys View. Today's video is a great one. Today's video is a happy one. We beat Spurs and this has been a great performance. Controlled the first half, rolled our luck in the second half, but it is what it is. Bring on the three points. Every point matters and I'm not going to lie to you. Every point is going to count if we're going to make this top four. Welcome to six things you need to know. Hit the like button before we get started. It goes a long, long way. I'm not gonna lie to you. It pushes this video in the comments below. Tell me who was your man of the match. My man of the match was a simple one. My man of the match was an effective one. My man of the match was Jorginho dictating the pace of the game, controlling it and getting the match winner. Let me know yours. The team news comes out and I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? This is interesting. This is super interesting. Are we going negative? But then it hit me. We got two shell in charge. We got TT in charge. You think we're going negative with TT? No chance. We're going to dictate play, control it, and be solid. And I'm not going to lie to you, it was exactly that. So let's get into the six things you need to know. The biggest thing that was happened was Rich James came into the side. Three academy graduates, and you guys said no. But let's get into the things. Let's go. The formation was absolutely crazy in my opinion. When you look at the formation, we played 3-4-1-2 or some sort of variation where Hudson and Doi and Pulisic in the second half were the number nine. Werner was making indoited runs, which was wonderful to see. It was very reminiscent of what happened at Leipzig. Then you start focusing on Mason Mount picking up the ball with on his back foot with taking the ball into his body and on the half turn consistently every time. Honestly, it's so exciting to see with dictating possession. It was it was refreshing. I can't even lie to you. It was refreshing to attack a big game in this type of style, in this manner, with a perfect Chelsea performance. Old school Chelsea, we go away from home, we get the three points in dominating fashion, we ride our luck a little bit, but it is what it is. The second biggest takeaway, and this one's really worrying, Thiago Silva pulls his hamstring by what it looks like, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm very worried. Thiago Silva gave us an element of control and helped us attack from the defense. His passing range was second to none, is second to none, and if he's out against Atletico Madrid, we're in big trouble. The man had a fantastic performance before he came off. Christensen came on, did a decent, mediocre job. Either side of him, you had Rudiger and you had Aspilicueta. Both had solid games, but there's just a different class to Thiago Silva. You guys know how I feel about him. I feel like someone needs to check his passport. There's no way he's 36. He's usually 26. But today, the way he pulled his hammy, he's definitely 36. Number three, and I'm not going to lie to you, a lot of you aren't going to agree with this, but Kovacic and Jorginho in that first half dictated. They dominated. They orchestrated. They were phenomenal. And not many people want to admit this because it doesn't fit an agenda. The problem is you're going to have to get used to it. For me, the issue arised in the second half where the Spurs came out a bit more, put some emphasis, put some pressure on them, and this is where I usually express the feeling I get worried a little bit I understand what you lot mean because when you actually deep here when the pressure is on are they going to be good for the top level I don't mind now I can live with now you saw the issues Kante had when he came on it could be that bad but we win today let's be positive let's move on to the next point number four is massive for me look the youth project will be continuing with or without Frank Lampard this project is on Hudson Odoi is not a youth prospect. He's good enough. Mason Mount, he's not a youth prospect. He's good enough. Reese James, he's good enough. These guys are going to play. Stop this agenda about the youth boys are dominating. The youth boys need to be playing. The youth boys, the youth boys are men. The youth boys have to play now. So have faith, have belief, and let's move on to the next game. Number five, and I'm absolutely getting worried, and I am getting, getting worried. Number five, Timo Werner. Man, I, I don't want to be that guy. I really don't want to be that guy. But he's missing an awful lot of chances, a lot of confidence issues. He won the penalty. He won the Jorginho penalty today, and that secured us the point. 
but he doesn't look confident one bit, people. I'm not gonna lie, like, it's, it's looking a bit sticky still. Like, it's, he can't pass the ball five yards. He can't run at a man. Literally, it looks like he shouldn't be on that pitch. He is so lucky we don't have another competent striker that wants to play in this system. Otherwise, he wouldn't be playing. And the final point is about Mason Mount. I think Mason Mount had a very good game from a creative standpoint. Always receiving the ball on the back foot. The way the man receives the ball on his back foot and he's almost inviting the challenge to come in. And if it doesn't come in, he's turning you on the half turn, he's running straight at your defence or he's picking a great pass out. He needs to improve his finishing though. If you're going to be playing for Chelsea in that position, you need to be better at connecting with the ball under pressure. For me, I feel like when it's instinctive, he's fantastic. But when he's got time and space, he's nowhere near a pure striker of the ball as people are telling me. If he's pure on the ball, a lot more of those shots are going on target. Remember the gaffer Frank Lampard? He used to be able to do that with ease. Mwah. Mason can't do it. I'm not going to lie to you. There needs to be a massive improvement there or he will be getting dropped in the future. It is what it is though. We get the three points. We up in this. You already know what the word is. And I'm not going to lie to you. I am gassed. I am so happy right now, right? Because when you actually deep it, we needed those three points. Seven points from a possible of nine, which we wouldn't have got under Frank. Whether you like it or not, it is what it is. It's the truth. We would not have got those points under Frank. Now we're in a position where we're going to control our faith. Now we're in a, in a position where we're looking up. We've got Sheffield United and we've got Newcastle coming up and we've got Burnley coming up. Can we get nine points from those games? Hopefully, I'm very optimistic and I'm very excited for those games. But this was the Kafkas U. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys liked the quality of the video. I'm getting all new stuff done for this channel. This channel is going to grow rapidly and please be a part of it. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and I'm out. Peace. Chelsea! Guys, I had some technical difficulties today. I want to apologize for the review coming out one late and number two with a new camera. I'm still learning my new things. The match reviews, in my opinion, are going to move over to live streams, I think. I think I'm going to start live streaming straight after the games. I think my videos are going to be the ones that are going to be edited and recorded. I need to have your feedback on this. Apologies once again for the late review and more importantly for the poor qualities i had some serious technical difficulties with my halo light uh, ring light my bad one i forgot to put it on it's embarrassing and two i'm just so concentrating on learning the features on this new camera so everything's coming out a little bit bookie so be patient with me i've got the new overlay coming everything's gonna be banging thank you for your faith thank you for your support peace out one love hit the subscribe button like the video and stick around. Let me know in the comments if you saw this, by the way. I want to know if you saw.